I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't have a driving rent today. Let me straighten up this camera. I don't have a driving rent today. I don't have a rent. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not. I'm. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. I'm like, bro. I'm off the wall. Y'all don't understand. I'm. I'm. I'm 29 years old. Ghostbusters came out in 1984. I remember watching that as a, even though, of course, it came out six years after I was born. I mean, it was out six years when I was born, rather. It had already been out six years. So I see the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer and I'm trying to calm down. Because and it's not even about the trailer, because, of course, whoever seen the trailer, I mean, that trailer was great. That trailer was freaking great. But I'm trying to calm down because I'm watching. Uh, um, I, I seen a video on the Angry Joe show that the trailer was out. And so immediately once I caught that, I went back to watch the trailer, watched it so many times. It's not even funny. And then I come back to to Angry Joe to watch him, you know, break it down. And he brings up this woman, Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones, I'm not going to call you out your name. I'm going to try my hardest. But I'm going to let you know this. I don't care when you said it. I don't care when you said it. You need to shut the fuck up. You need to shut up. Because your tweet that you put is still up there. Shut up up because you would think that you, ghostbusters wouldn't even come out your mouth after that fucking travesty that you gave us in 2016 you maybe didn't know a lot about the movie when you first tweeted that but you knew his son was going to be involved i think they said as the director his son the person the son of the guy that directed the original ghostbusters I think you knew that. They announced that at the very beginning. And you still had that tweet up there. Talking about, like, fuck us. Like, it's it's like, it's insulting. It's like, fuck us. It's like, we didn't matter. That's what you did to the original movie. That's what you did to the original movie. What are you talking about? You act like the original movie didn't exist. You act like the original movie didn't exist. That's what you did. And then I forget. I don't want to say the wrong names. I think it was Dan Aykroyd. I don't want to say the wrong names. You had him in there as a fucking cab driver. Shut up. That you want. You want. To, the problem is you want your movie to be to be the original. You want your movie to be the original. You don't give a fuck about the original. How dare you? How dare you after that travesty that you made that lost over a hundred million dollars and Paul Fogg, I will talk about you, you stupid bitch. Your movie lost over a hundred fucking million dollars. You talking about, oh, uh, I, I support this movie. It's just sad that uh, me, me and my girls want to be able to come back. Why would you want to come back? Nobody liked it. Why would you want to come back? You know how this became my favorite movie? When I, when I was growing up, y'all, a lot of people didn't have cable. Ghostbusters was one of the movies that consistently showed on, we caught it back, we caught it, I want to say back in the day, I'm, I'm still in my 20s now, calm down. Um, We caught it regular TV. Regular TV. And they always were showing Ghostbusters. And I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, boy, this is scary. But I kept watching it. And then when I figured out two people that wrote the movie, were in the movie. Like, that was amazing to me as a kid. That was crazy. How scary it was. How dare, like, how dare you even jump out the window? 
You don't even, you didn't even know back then. And I hope you didn't know. Because if you knew that all these characters were reprising their roles in this Ghostbusters Afterlife and you still had shit to talk, oh, I'm finna have a whole nother video on you. You better fucking believe it. I don't want to hear you say shit else about this movie. You shouldn't have said nothing in the first place. Like we don't count. That's what you did to the original movie. A queef joke. After Angry Joe said, don't see this movie. After every YouTuber I said, watch, don't see this movie. I love Ghostbusters so much. I still watched it. And everything they said was right. Y'all act like none of the original movie existed. Why? I don't want to go back to this. Don't say nothing else. I knew you. I knew y'all was going to try to come back. Now we don't we don't have to come back. What are you talking about? Are you talking about controversy? Why is it controversy? Why is it controversy when they coming out? It's controversy because the movie comes out that wants to honor the original movie. That's controversy. But it wasn't controversy when y'all just eliminated the original movie. That wasn't controversial. I'm talking about whatever stupid hoe wrote the original article about it. Why would that ever make people mad that people are honoring the original movie? The dude song that directed the original is, is directing this. How? How are you mad at that? How are you upset at that? Your movie was not good. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. I try to relax, trying to drop a video, go to bed, do what I got to do. But y'all are, but Leslie, uh, please, please keep your mouth shut. Please keep your mouth shut. Please. Because you are making. Y'all really think what's making me so mad is because by that statement, I can tell that'll be my thumbnail by that statement. I can tell I can tell that when they originally made this movie, when they originally made this movie, I think Dan Aykroyd was involved because y'all fucking paid him. Y'all, it's three hundred fifty million, but y'all probably paid him out the wazoo. That's why he's back in the in the in the actual good one that people want to see that actually honors the original. There's actually an extension of the original, not try to wipe out the original. And try to make it some. Now I'm calling it political. At first I would say, oh no, I didn't put. Now I'm calling it political. I'm excited for Ghostbusters Afterlife. I wish he wouldn't have even showed that. Because Leslie, like, shut up. Shut up. And I'm not, and, and, I, and I'm not saying this to you as a woman. Cause this is, this is not a man telling a woman shut up. This is a Ghostbuster fan telling the, telling one of the main actresses in a horrible, insulting Ghostbusters movie, and you talking about they said fuck us. You said fuck the people in the original that wrote the original movie. That you wouldn't even have done this if they hadn't wrote the original movie. How you use they license? You use they license. Some shit that they put their heart and soul into. And you said, and, 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 and you took it and just acted like the original movie didn't exist. But you feel insulted when a movie that come out that's honoring a real movie. And for the people that's about to say, oh, she probably didn't know. You knew from the beginning that his son was directing it, the dude that directed the original. You knew that. So you knew they weren't going to eliminate the original. You knew they were going to eliminate your piece of shit movie that shouldn't ever exist
Let me drink some water. I'm going to watch this movie when it come out. Everybody go watch this movie when it's come out. I better not hear none of y'all weirdo look at. Let me cut this off.